Good Wednesday morning. This is 106.1 KYVZ. Joe Vizurek visiting with Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather Now, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel. Chris, some much-needed precipitation fell across the high plains last night. Yeah, Joe, we saw a round of thunderstorms that rolled through here during the late evening and early morning hours. It put down in the Rollins County about a half an inch to the southern parts of the county. We had 90 points here in Atwood, upwards to 75 hundredths to an inch on the northeast to the northwest sides of the county. Uh, you can lot yourself up there in Nebraska and out in Colorado. There were some heavier amounts in some locations there. Uh, most of this activity uh, came out of Colorado, uh, northeast Colorado, and moved east-northeast once it got into Kansas and southwest Nebraska. Uh, this activity has now moved away from the area. And then the rest of uh, today and tomorrow, and as we go through the weekend, we're going to start to see a warming and drying trend. Uh, we do have some chances for maybe some scattered activity to come out of Colorado late this afternoon and evening once again. But that's going to be widely scattered, more hit and miss, most likely to the west of the Kansas-Colorado line or to the east of a line from Oakley uh, to Norton starting later this afternoon. And then that area moves off to the east and northeast into northeast Kansas and southeastern Nebraska, where the severe weather potential is higher during the overnight hours. Uh, for us, we're starting out here this morning in the 60s. We got that patchy fog once again. It's dense in some locations like Oakley and Burlington are reporting a quarter to a half mile visibilities. You get up to the Kansas-Nebraska border and we're more in the five to one mile visibility. So that fog will burn off quickly here today. We'll see temperatures shoot up there into the upper 80s this afternoon with more sunshine. We'll see a northwesterly breeze at five to 15 miles per hour. And that'll be the trend for tomorrow and Friday as we see less chances for thunderstorm activity and warmer temperatures. Tomorrow's highs will be around 90. Those lower 90s going into the lower to mid 90s on Friday. Overnight lows will be in the middle 60s. We'll have plenty of sunshine. Winds tomorrow will be from the northwest, turning to back to a southeast direction on Friday at that 10 to 15 mile an hour clip. So it won't be that windy. We get to the weekend. We could see temperatures in the middle 90s, trying to climb into the upper 90s, maybe flirting with 100 in some locations. So it starts to heat up and dry out as that high pressure ridge amplifies over the Rockies and moves over the plains for the start next week. We're looking ahead to the long range forecast for next week. We got one computer model saying it's gonna get hot and dry to end the month. Another one saying an upper level low and low pressure will backdoor a cold front back into this area like we've seen here in the past couple of weeks. If that scenario pans out Wednesday, Thursday, the thunderstorm chances will come back into the forecast and 80 degree temperatures. If the other model wins out and the high pressure dominates, we're talking 90 and 100 degree temperatures and no rain heading into that third or last week or the first week of school, football games and all that to end the month here of August and start Labor Day in September. So uh, we're going to keep an eye on that. And for now, we're going to get fog this morning, burning off this afternoon, maybe some rain chances, and then that shuts off for the weekend. Once again, that's Ag Meteorologist Chris Schramick at Decision Weather Now, as well as America's Weather Streaming Channel for KYVZ Radio. I'm Joe Vizuri.